Hello, in this discussion we will discuss the discussion question of what is objectivity and how does it support ethics? First, when we start off with a question like this, we could look to define objectivity, define ethics, and look for the link. What's the link between the two? What's the link between objectivity and ethics? How can more objectivity or the principle or idea of objectivity lend to the concepts of ethics as they relate to the accounting profession. Objectivity has to do with the idea of the financial information to be documented by independent and unbiased evidence. So when we consider the concept of objectivity, we're considering the idea that we have to be taking that impartial judgment. We're looking to put the financial statements together and when considering objectivity in terms of accounting, we are typically considering the construction of the financial statements, the end product, and putting together the data in order to get to that end product. And we're taking what you might think of as a scientific approach, meaning we're taking an unbiased approach or an, an approach where we would think or think that a reasonable person, we could say using legal terms, would get to the same conclusion in compiling the data in accordance with the rules that are set up to compile data in the format of financial statements. So we're trying to be impartial, as impartial as possible when constructing the data. Uh, we see this kind of impartial idea, this kind of concept of impartiality when considering the, the field of audit, when we're looking to be a third party auditor. Uh, this same concept of impartiality comes into play when you're considering uh, getting an opinion from somebody. The question is, uh, who is that opinion coming from? When we're considering the rules of the format of the accounting in terms of the financial statements, we want to be as impartial as possible, meaning we're going to put things together as if we're, we are not uh, intimately related. And part of the ways that we can do that then is to be putting this information together in accordance not with opinion, but with a set of rules, a set of principles that we adhere to um, in accordance with those rules and principles. And if we adhere to those, then we should come up to a, a conclusion that is impartial in that someone else would come up to a similar conclusion given the same pr processes and principles being followed through uh, the activity of creating the financial statements. How then does that tie to ethics or what is ethics? Uh, ethics, again, a huge topic, <laughs> but uh, we could think of ethics as, as general rules that we are going to adhere by. Uh, when we consider them in terms of a profession, such as accounting, we're going to tie those ethics to what would be good for the profession as a whole, meaning what are those kind of rules that have been put together? How should someone within the, the profession act in accordance with enhancing basically the profession as a whole? one way to think about the ethics within a profession. They will be important, of course, because ethics relies or deals with trust. And when you're considering dealing with uh, business transactions and uh, facilitating business, the whole financial statements themselves have to do with the idea of reporting something uh, accurately. And therefore, the, the financial statements themselves are a form of trust that are supposed to make the transactions between individuals, business transactions, easier through the facilitation of trust and, and within those financial statements. So that's going to be a big component of ethics within a profession. How then does objectivity relate to profession? The idea of objectivity means that we're, we're going to put things together in this impartial way. And that helps users of financial statements view the financial statements as something that is impartial, as something that could have been put together by, say, a third party individual. And therefore, because of that impartiality, because of them not being put together as assumed by just opinion, but by a set, a set of rules, then uh, the third parties, the people that are depending on them, those being the creditors, if we want to get a loan, the investors or, or the customers, if we want people, the investors in that case, if we want people to purchase the, the stock within the business, we need them to, to be able to say, hey, these, these financial statements were put together uh, objectively, meaning they were put together in a set of rules as if an impartial person was basically following those set of rules. And therefore, we can rely on these financial statements to be constructed in this format and to be comparable then 
to other formats, uh, to other financial statements, and that will lend uh, to the better use of the financial statements for those external users, for them to be making better decisions in terms of how they should be uh, putting their money into or the fun, the uh, company in terms of investments or whether or not they should do business with the company for something like a loan uh, in that case if that's what the financial statements were being used for. So if asked what, uh, what is objectivity and how does it support ethics within an essay question format, wrapping that up I would first think of the definitions of objectivity which some way of being impartial we're trying to put something together in an impartial way part of the way we can do that is through the structure us following a structure rather than just basically putting things together by opinion then define ethics what is ethics as it relates to accounting why is it important and uh, that could be a long discussion but you can break that down to uh, the the rules that the that accountants are going to follow in order to uh, build the profession in order to build trust within the profession in order to do things that are good for the profession how should individuals act within a profession how are those two then related how does objectivity lead to ethics objectivity is one of those things that helps people uh, have faith in the financial statements an objective uh, viewpoint is something that would be valued by third-party users of financial statements and therefore they achieve kind of that same goal that goal of basically trust within the financial statement and advancing the uh the the trust of professionals of accountants within the profession